Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do one of my regular boil tests on Zelf's fancy feast stove with the timer, water, the whole bit. So I've got one fluid ounce of methanol sitting in the stove. I measured it with the cup that came with the stove. That was about five minutes ago. I've had it under a can. What I'm going to do now is go get some water prepped and I'll be back for the test. By that time, uh, according to the instructions that came with the stove, it says light the stove at the place where the stainless steel pot meets the white wicking material. Place a pot onto the stove. You may have to wait a few seconds for the wick to absorb the fuel before lighting. We'll see what happens here. Uh, I haven't had any luck on getting it started, getting the stove started by applying a match here. Unlike my type fancy feast stove, I can put the pot right on the top and then light the wick and go to town from there. So let me get some water prepped. That should give this wicking another five or six minutes to get soaked up and I'll be back for a test. Okay, I've got to work this quick. I've got two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. Take this off. This has been soaking for almost 10 minutes now. And see, no such luck. Darn it. So it's got a light from the inside and it seems to heat it up. And then it goes. So we got two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. And let's see how long this takes. Okay, we're two minutes. The temperature is 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you can see it's a decent little flame there. Not as tall as what it is on my on my version of the Fancy Feast, but it's a nice looking flame. I forgot to say that the room temperature is 58 degrees, 53 percent humidity, and it's been sunny outside. Pretty nice day. So let's see how long it takes this to get to a boil. There we have 210 to, el to, to 11. Come on. 212 in 7 minutes 39 seconds. So that was a boil time of 7 minutes 39 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for this to run out now. Okay, we're going. Going. Gone at 11 minutes 11 seconds. Okay. So, now you saw, I don't know, I just have, I've had two other people tell me that they don't have holes in the bottom of their burner either, their stove rather. So, I don't see how the alcohol can get across and into the wick. It's just about pressed all the way down that it's, this is making a seal with the bottom of the can. So, according to the instructions, you're supposed to be able to just hold a match here and light it. But I just haven't had that luck. And I had two other people tell me that theirs is missing holes. So I guess that's the way the stove is made. Um, in this case, one fluid ounce of methanol. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room, room temperature was 58 degrees. It came to a boil in 7 minutes, 39 seconds. And then run out in 11 minutes, 11 seconds. When I did this test for the first time... On this stove, my fancy feast stove, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, room temperature was 84. Um, one fluid ounce of methanol, two cups of water, came to a boil in 5 minutes and 13 seconds, and then ran out in 9 minutes. So, seven, three, it took about almost two and a half minutes longer for Zell's fancy feast to come to a boil than mine, so you would think that maybe the run out would be longer. Mine was nine, this is eleven. Yeah, it's about two minutes, a little more than two minutes longer. So, I don't know if you want to. I know I'm going to get hate mail for this. I don't know if you want to call this efficiency or what, but I just think it's missing the two. Remember, I showed you this. If this is the liner. I punch holes in the bottom of it so that the alcohol can get right over to the wick. But 
you know, this is the test that I get from this. I, I personally, and not just because I made it, but I prefer this version of the stove over that one. I can feel the hate mail coming now. <laughs> so, I guess that's about all I can say. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.